Scott Pike deals every Wednesday. Alex is your bartender. Tip him well. If you're feeling hungry, if you're feeling peckish, if your tummy's are rumbling, we got nice, yummy, easy, cheesy pizza courtesy of Orgy's Pizza Kitchen. You can order that at the bar. I'm one of your co-hosts, Tyler Bauer. Give it up for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please be even more boisterous as I introduce my co-host. What can I say? He's a freaky young boy, a bisexual. Give it up for Monty Giles! Keep it going, keep it going, everyone. Welcome! Why'd you pick such cool intro music for me? I don't know, dude. I snuck it in there. I didn't want to run it by you either. I literally just labeled it Monty's not cool intro music. Hi everyone! How is everyone doing tonight? Welcome to Basic City Comedy. Make some noise one more time. Hell yeah. We're small, but mighty come in, come in. Everyone say come in, come in. Please sit down, please sit down. Make some noise if you've been here before. Make some noise if you've never been here before. Hell yeah. Who's never been here before? You in the back. Oh, we were talking to you. Your name's Colby? Everyone say, hey, Colby. What's up, Colby? Hey, Colby? Colby's sick as shit. He cuts down trees for companies. Hey, yo, Colby, where's Jack? <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> on that note, I'll just explain the show. Me and my co-host, Tyler Bauer, we have two microphones. Comics are going to come up here. They're going to do about five or six minutes. Then they get done. They get to uh, sit in that third chair, and they get to heckle the next comic. Me and Tyler, we have two microphones. We're going to heckle them there and their shit. We have a soundboard. We play sounds like this. You said you fuck P. Diddy? Yes. We have sounds like that. You uh, said you fuck P. Diddy? Correct. Uh... We have sounds like that. We'll play that all night. You as the crowd can get involved too. If you follow Bay City Comedy on Instagram, send us some DMs. We'll read them live and direct. If you want to talk about your fanfic that you're writing about P. Diddy, we'll read it out loud. Tom, you said you fuck P. Diddy? Todd, do you have, <laughs> do you have anything? No, do you want to talk about the weird uh, package that was left on your front Oh, yeah, right? okay, so maybe you guys can help me. Okay, if anyone left a pack of meat, of frozen meat on my porch, please take it back, I don't want it. Someone, I got home from work, and there was a, there was a box, like a, like a cut in half box, and there was meat in it, and it was frozen, it was like ground beef, and, and deli meat, and shit, and it was sitting there, and I talked to my roommate, and I was like, yo, is this your frozen meat? And he said, no, so, I, I don't know what to do. What would you do, person walking out, what would you do if you had frozen meat put on your porch? Eat it. Eat it? It's, it's Richmond meat, it's, it's, it's street meat. It's a lull. It's, I mean, it's packaged, but like it's sweating. Like it, it's defrosted. It was still cold. Was there a note on it that said. You said you fuck P. Diddy? <laughs> what if it is like a Diddy thing? <laughs> like, what if that's me being marked? Like, you know how like Halloween's coming up there, like, don't check the candy? I told you not to go to that freak off. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm scared, but we'll figure that out as the show goes on. With that being said, are you guys ready to start the show? <laughs> guys, we're small but mighty. We can do this tonight. Are you ready to start the fucking show? Yeah. That's so much better. Oh, yeah, also... <laughs> also, we're a live recording show. Please give it up for your cameraman, Silver, everyone. So please laugh at what you want, uh, don't laugh at what you don't, but write in some comments about it. We're gonna have a really fun night. With that being said, let's start the show. We start we, the same way we start every single show. On the count of three, can I get one big fuck you, Monty? One, two, three! Fuck you, Monty. And one for my beautiful co-host, Tyler Bauer. Fuck you, Tyler, on three. One, two, three! Fuck you, Tyler. All right, let's get this bad boy started with your first comic coming to the stage. You're all in for a treat. She's a very fun comic. She actually gets paid to do this. She's very cool, very funny. And she's, she's a very good friend of the show. She's co-hosted the show before. Please give it up for your first comic of the night, Lucy Bonino! Hello, 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 Basic City. How's everybody doing? We doing okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, fabulous. Okay. All right. I came here with brand new stuff, so we're just gonna kinda all work it out. How does that sound, huh? Woo. If you can think of anything fun, shout it. Shout anything you want. Uh, all right, I like that um, inflation is high right now because it hides how bad I am at managing my finances. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. 
Today I was looking at luxury watches. Today I was, I was like, let's look at like Patek Philippe's like website and see like what it is that I could afford, you know? Um, Relatable. Thank you. Um, uh, well, ever since Lucy became a landlord, she's been saying words like luxury watches. Exactly. <laughs> Did you hear the bullshit way she said luxury no, watch? I, I you hauled with my girlfriend, shocker, uh, and yeah, <laughs> and I couldn't sell my apartment fast enough, so that is why I'm a landlord. Also, she's a freaking young man, a bisexual. <laughs> I also don't like poor people. Um, right. I, <laughs> everybody talks about the pros of lesbian relationships, but nobody ever talks about the cons. Uh, like the pros, or the pros are like, obviously, you know, like the love of my life is like not gonna assassinate me. Like, you know, like all the statistics about husbands murdering their wives. But the cons of a lesbian relationship is I- Betraying God. Well, that, yes, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> But before I get to hell, inevitably, uh, I paid eighteen hundred dollars to change eighteen hundred American dollars to change both internal uh, air filters in my car. I know. What? And, what? What? what and the only, shit are you talking the about? The only reason. The only reason I knew that that was a bad thing is because I told my dad and he looked at me and he like, all of the color was like drained from his face and he was like, Lucy, are you retarded? Like, that is, I'm serious. You know? Analyst. Yeah, that's. I'm not gay no more. I am the nerd. It's just tough, you know? Like, I don't have a man in my life, you know, to be like, don't fucking do that. Oh, uh, I know, I wish I did, you know? Like, I, I didn't even know what that was. Uh, women, women, woo. Oh, okay, all right, that was nice. Um, I, <laughs> I think I would suck a dick once a year for automotive care. Is that <laughs> relatable? All right. Uh, okay, I... <laughs> Wait, all right, so what are we talking Are you talking about just an oil change, or like... I've never paid less than $100 for an oil change. Well, that's just what? the price of an oil change. Really? Yeah. Uh, Wait, cause I was no, where are you guys getting oil changes? Do you huh. use synthetic? It's like 45 bucks. That's, that's under $100, Oh, I thought you said over. No. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I've I never paid you. under $100 for an oil yeah, change. Yeah, because oil changes are just $45. Yeah. Do you well, think it's because you're hot? I'm saying no, she I've hasn't met, paid you, under a hundred. She's paid over a hundred dollars for an oil change. Oh, it's because you're not hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough way to find out. Uh, <laughs> rough. Uh, She's a freaking young <laughs> man of my six four. <laughs> okay, wait. I had one more joke that I wanted to say. Um, I uh, I, for, I had another tag for that joke and I fucking forgot it. Okay. Um, Oh, I watch a lot of cult documentaries. Do, does anybody else? Has anybody seen the Mother God, the yeah. Cult of Mother God documentary? Yeah. You, oh, is that Shorty who turns blue? Yes, yes, oh, yeah. because she's drinking all this colloidal. So I swear to, okay, the Cult of Mother God, it's this woman who, she is like, I am every single famous historical person, and like, I am like now reimagined as this person, and she has like a following of people. They're all anorexic for some reason. Um, like, I, I don't understand. But there's so many points in the cult documentaries where like there's people that are like cult experts and they're like renowned like psychologists and they're like this, don't judge these people. This could happen to anyone. This could happen to you even. You just are lucky enough for this not to have happened to you. Turning blue? I disagree wholeheartedly with that. That shit would never, I would never, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I would never, ever, ever fall for a cult. Ever. Like under any, there's no situation where- Wrong. You're a lesbian. You're in a cult. <laughs> that was cheap. All right. Uh, I, we can do better than that. All right. Uh, All right, sorry. fine. How about this? She's a freaking young gay of my six four. Comment from the crowd, if Rory Gilmore munched box. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> what do you think she would pay for an oil change? <laughs> you think it's over or under a hundred bucks? Uh, 
My average is like $140. For the <laughs> yeah, because you drive a time machine, you rich asshole. Is that, I drive a 2008 Honda Accord. That is what I drive. That's Lucy like $47,000. Lucy would get tricked into buying an oil change for a cyber truck. <laughs> You know what sucks is that I would, I hate that Elon Musk is just horrible because Teslas are like objectively like sexy cars. Wrong. They are. They're like nice cars and I, I wish that he wasn't such an asshole so I could, you know what I also learned because I backed into a Tesla and I had to pay like two grand to fucking fix this person's bumper. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> But uh, the the model numbers, like the names of the Teslas, if you spell them out, it's model S, three, X, and Y, and they spell sexy. <laughs> Doesn't that make you want to kill yourself? <laughs> Comment from the crowd. Blazing Tesla is the landlord speaking. <laughs> you guys suck. Wait, These comments are lame. Come on. What we can do of, better than that. What kind of car do you own? Like what brand? Me? Yeah. Yeah. What uh, brand? I told you it's a Honda Accord. Oh. Uh, 2008. I'm, I'm sure John Honda also did some horrible things. It's a V6 engine. She's very fast, which is good. Do you call your car a she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was my grandma's, and she was just as terrible of a driver as I was. So like, you look at my car, and it's like covered in dents and shit. And people judge me on the road for it, cause like, you know, it's a dented piece of shit. Uh, but it's my grandma's, it's not mine, so. That's good. Thank you. Yep, thanks. All right. How much time do I have? Uh, we have a time. Oh my god, okay. We also have a dog that tells you when your time's up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. Bye. <laughs> Walked in. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you ready for so much more show? We have so much more show for you. Where's the dog at? Someone lift the dog in the air. I have one question for that dog. You said you fuck P. Diddy? <laughs> the, was he in the dog shit? I haven't read the document yet. Dog shit? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he was fucking Meek Mill. <laughs> Hell yeah, go Tyler. All right, Lucy, how do you feel? I feel great, thank you. Okay. <laughs> She's a freaking young girl of my sexual. God, that's my favorite button. Yeah, we gotta wake up. We gotta wake you up. We gotta. I'm yeah. expecting more. Yeah, let's give out a trophy. We have a bunch of trophies here. Well, we're giving out trophies to the to good comments from the crowd. So please keep sending those, and we will we will answer accordingly. All right. Uh, we have your next comic on the stage. I've never heard of him before. We thought he was someone else, but I hope he's here. So please, basically, help welcome the very mysterious. The mysteriously maybe funny Caleb Sherman. Oh yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Caleb Sherman, everyone. He's real. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is cool. Hello. Yes. Uh, I've never been to Richmond before. Just got here yesterday from Portland, Maine. Yeah, actually, uh, Richmond reminds me a lot of Portland, Maine. Like, um, we have uh, Monument Square, too. It's uh, honoring the Union troops that died in the Civil War. I heard y'all were into your monuments as well. Uh, no, we got rid of them. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. yeah we fucking hate the monuments. Yeah, yeah. The only one left standing is the Arthur Ashe statue. Yeah. Well, who's the that? The black you don't, you don't know, wait, what? He oh, it. It looks like he's beating a bunch of children with a tennis racket and a He's book. teaching yeah. them to behave. Our Monument <laughs> Avenue had a bunch of Confederate generals and then Arthur Ashe. Wow. Or it was like they were chasing him. It was very funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good to get rid of those. Also, you look like one of the monuments we had, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a Civil War Confederate general? Yes. <laughs> Press, uh, no, Arthur Ashe. I've gotten a, uh, I got a lot of look-alike jokes. Uh, I've never gotten the Civil War general. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, uh, my parents were kind of hippies, so like I was born at home in a bathtub on purpose, actually. Moments after my birthday, found a straight piece of craft glitter on my face. They tried to. Come. <laughs> they tried to pass it off as a miracle. Clearly, they just hadn't cleaned the tub very well. Uh, comment from the crowd: Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> Stonewall Jackson. Comment from the crowd: Kirkland Brand Hosier. Oh, Hosier's a good one. Hosier's a good one. 
You got every uh, long hair, big nose person. They all look the same. Your hair looks like it got pulled out of a drain. That, that a lot of it was today. Pulled out of a drain. Um, yeah, it's better than Howard Stern. I don't look like how it's devastatingly accurate that I look like Howard Stern. It's okay. I'm, I'm a big fucking weirdo. Uh, Wrong. I also get I also get a lot of vampire look like jokes. So yeah, I don't know where that's I coming that from. One, where, sure. where is it? Is it? Am I clear? Where do you look like a vampire? I don't think. I don't I know. Maybe like it's your vampire. dark aura you brought to the stage. I do have a hat. You look like you drag women by the hair. <laughs> <laughs> And then glue it whatever to your happens, head. Whatever happens between consenting adults. Actually, that's a great segue into a take I'm working on about how more and more people these days say that we gotta decriminalize and destigmatize sex work. You know, I'm all about that. I think that's great. I think we should do that. What I don't think as many people are on board with is destigmatizing the only people in society who are directly financially supporting the sex workers. I, I consider myself a bit of an activist, so whenever I have the money, I stig my dick in a sex worker. You better go somewhere and beat your meat. Uh, comment from the crowd. Uh, JP from Grandma's Boy after he got fired. I don't know who that is. Uh, you know what's funny is I was gonna say something about you looking like you follow like a lot of women on OnlyFans, and you kind of beat me to the punch. Yes. Right? You look like yes. Lucy during a full moon. This is weird. <laughs> it looks like the Underquaker. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lucy. I would never part my hair like that though. <laughs> yeah, not with, not with the lunar eclipses happening. I don't even know what the parting hair means. I don't. I literally don't. Well, I can. T okay. Come this on, is man. this is long hair. Uh, from you don't know human part, you have you have hair longer than I do. You don't know how to part your own hair. This is what happens when you just don't get haircuts or take care of yourself. This is not vanity long hair. I understand the confusion. No, this, I, same with the facial hair. I, I was depressed you have, in the winter. You, you have the body of one of those male aliens in Men in Black. You know what I'm talking about? The sorting one? Specifically a male alien. Oh, the he male. He sorted male, yeah. I thought you were saying a male alien. Like What's the guy that's like, sugar? The, the, <laughs> the one that didn't quite fit in his skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment from the crowd. He looked like, he looked like that dude that'd be fucking on Khaleesi. Oh, that's... That was I kind of a like, deep, that's a deep cut. Comment from the crowd. I'm Caleb is Lucy's off. improv halfway to a... Uh, wait, what? Oh, there's a... Wow. Comment from the crowd. Pull the lever, Kronk. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Uh, he looks like what, the giant from Big Fish worked at GameStop. <laughs> uh, Caleb is Lucy's what? improv... Oh, hold on. <laughs> Caleb is, is Lucy's improv halfway to a grizzly bear? What the fuck are you saying? I don't know. Someone else said Wayne's World. So sick. Long hair. Yep. Oh yeah, like an anamorph. You know, like I start as the person, and then you're like the guy halfway to the grizzly bear. <laughs> oh yes. I get. I get it now. <laughs> so you're the higher evolution Pokemon of of me, or I am of you. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. He looks like he wipes back to front. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. No, I don't. That's, that's wild, though. Uh, I, I can't think of a single one of my goddamn jokes. This is a big grab. I hate this mic. A whole so, bunch yes. of uh, <laughs> like jokes. Would you like a trophy? No. Oh, wait. I can't repeat another look like joke about me. Best one I've ever heard of. All right, me. let's hear it. I look like I just surfed out of Auschwitz. Damn. <laughs> let's end, end it on Grown. What do you say? I'm about it. Not about it. What, what, what's it like in Portland, Maine? Oh, it's pretty cool. It really is a lot like here. But it's just a tiny little town, slightly smaller version of Richmond. All right, I was giving you an opportunity for a joke, but that's fine. There's a, there's a, there's lobsters and queer people, and rainbow crosswalks all year round. It's a magical land. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I uh, I was in Portland for a wedding one time, and I matched with this girl on Tinder, and um, she like met me afterwards, and she she was like talking to me, and then five minutes in, she was like, "Do you want to see my webbed toes?" <laughs> so, 
And that truly is my only impression of Portland, Maine. <laughs> yeah, Caleb, show us your web toes, dude. I, I wasn't born See that there. I'm not the product of incest, but it's a small gene pool in Maine. You do look like you have manners. one hole that you shit and piss out of. <laughs> <laughs> Person. That's a good bird person. I feel like I have to wait for you to dismiss me, but can I just like walk away now? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So just make sure people's water doesn't shake as you do it. Okay. Caleb Sherman, go the wrong way. Come sit in the third chair, brother. Caleb Sherman, come in the third chair. Hello. Come on, let him hear it. It was his first time here. He's from Portland. So cool, hell yeah. Guys, is everyone doing okay? Yeah. No, we're not okay. Clap, do something. Clap. 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 Okay, we're back, hell yeah. All right, one more time for Caleb Sherman, everyone. <laughs> Caleb, what do, you, what do you think? This is a small version of my personal hell. Okay. Yep. That's better than Kill Tony. <laughs> yes. That is, yes. Clip that. Uh, your next comic coming to the stage, he's going to bring some energy to this room. He's just, I call him my little big ball of joy. He's going to fucking hate that shit. Uh, please give it up for the very funny Laz Hamlin. Good morning. Clap for Laz Hamlin, everyone. First of all, I'm not Monty's big ball of joy or whatever he said. That's why I got all these trophies for you. They're all for you, Laz. That's pretty gay. That's They're pretty all Laz size. <laughs> <laughs> got a bunch of Laz trophies. Ain't that a bitch? Motherfucker got shoulders, though. That's the shit that I'm got shoulders. Pray for Florida, yo. They, they getting hit by a hurricane right now. And it's going through Tampa and shit, Fort Myers, and it's fucking up shit. We really gotta play for Fort. You know the crazy thing about hurricanes? I went, you know, they got the stupidest names. You know, hurricanes are just named after aunts and uncles and shit. Like, they not even like, like Milton, that's not even a father. That's an uncle or something, like my uncle Milton. But Hurricane Milton over there fucking shit up. But they picked the names, I looked it up, they picked the names like off like a list. They have a list that meteorologists and shit made up of, and they just go in alphabetical order. And just nerd names? Basically, and that makes sense. Like, only a fucking meteorologist would think of fucking Irene. Like, that's a stupid ass name. Yeah, Hurricane Lazarus would go hard as fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> they need to that sounds, it, it always sucks up all the way. You know, you know what I think they should do? I think they should name them after millionaires. That's what they should do. They should name them after me. And Hurricane way, Diddy would be crazy. That way, that way, whatever um, hurricane is named after you, you gotta pay for whatever it fuck up. <laughs> I feel like that'd be the fastest way to stop hurricanes, because eventually they're gonna join forces and become the Avengers. They're gonna build a dome or something. Especially with Hurricane Bezos on the way, or Hurricane Musk. That's Elon, a Elon gonna try to get his hurricane stronger than everybody else, though. He that type of asshole. Hurricane Musk sounds like an incense. <laughs> it damn sure does. Like some body oil. Like, <laughs> hey, let me get a cherry blossom and some Egyptian musk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Hurricane Musk. Uh, Caleb, any thoughts? We should name hurricanes after your craziest ex-girlfriend, like Alexis with two X's. <laughs> yeah. Alexis. You remind me of Bret Hart. Bret Hart? You remember Bret Hart the wrestler? Uh, man, you ain't watch wrestling. Yeah. No. Damn, man. <laughs> yeah, I lived it, damn it. What y'all doing it, man? Just... Not wrestling. <laughs> they just hunt themselves to the trees and tape themselves around it. No, they just go rock fishing and shit. Everybody fish every day. That's probably some shit you really doing, man. A lot of ports and shit up there. <laughs> <laughs> Did it go Tyler, there? spell quartz. And they don't... I remember. There you go. Uh, quartz, like the mineral? Yeah. Q-U-A-R-T-Z. Hell yeah. You smart, bro. You Learn know something. To spell. You know something. I believe rumors when I hear them. Because I feel like, you know, how was you living your life for me to even think, okay, that's a possibility? Like a wild rumor, like you're not going to believe anything. Like, 
Like somebody told y'all something about me, like, man, Ham, don't throw somebody one day. You probably not gonna believe that. Because you, you can see me, you're looking at me. But I heard a rumor that Cardi B was fucking while she was pregnant. And like, I believe that. Because the way she lived her life, you know what I'm saying? Like, Are you against pregnant women getting fucked? A little bit. Wait, what? <laughs> a little bit. You were listening. I, mean, I just feel like you starting a child life in Trump. Like, that's just, that's a big hey, Trump. Shaking baby syndrome? Right, that motherfucker gonna have, that's, anything can, can come from that. Stuttering, all types of shit. Like, or they just have any, what if they just gives them an any belly button? That's, that's weird. That's fucking weird. <laughs> it's your premise, brother. That motherfucker need to go to jail. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can't be out here doing that to babies. You're hurting the babies before they even get here. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. That's a pregnant woman who just got some dick. <laughs> She's back there talking like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> her baby's giving you the finger from inside of her. <laughs> I've had pregnant coochie myself, though. <laughs> and I, you know, I don't have children. It's, you know, it's a wild, it's a long story. But... That was some good coochie. It was it was something different about it. I think it was wet from I, I think it was wet from baby tears. I think that's what it was. It Last was day some pussy was like, ooh, this tastes like mashed peas. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed bananas. <laughs> Caleb thoughts. Have you ever met somebody with an Audi belly button? Yeah. Yeah, I met a girl with an Audi one time. Wow. Yeah. No, her name was Audi. It's not a lot of them if it was caused by dick that we all have and he's like, the pregnant people are getting fucked. <laughs> it's like, you know, Caleb doesn't have any black friends. <laughs> he got black friends, I'm sure. It, Maine is the whitest state in the country. Is that why you moved there? There's some niggas out there, they just stay from around y'all. There's niggas everywhere, we everywhere. We in Maine too. Uh, comment from the crowd. Hearing him describe having sex with a pregnant woman is like when Steve Carell is lying about having sex with a woman and 40 year old virgin. That was very wordy. Uh, Caleb looks like an any belly button. <laughs> Still getting look like jokes. Comment from the crowd. Old Spice Hurricane Musk. That was like five minutes back. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Caleb, comment from the crowd. Caleb looks like his dick is an any. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm circumcised. <laughs> I'm glad my parents thought enough of me to say we're not gonna let him go out of here with that turtleneck. We just gonna do this right now. <laughs> Because your parents didn't love you if they didn't get you circumcised. That's man. true, bro. They, that's just extra work. You gotta pull the motherfucker back. Who out there is not circumcised? <laughs> I'm not. You're not circumcised? Yes, yes. <laughs> I was like, is that what you meant by any? Wait, for real? Yeah. Is your foreskin just as tall as you? If you stretch, that's wild. Wow. You stretch, you're pretty good. Oh, uh, shit. They're like long johns. You should have dope in that motherfucker. You wasted it. <laughs> you should smuggle some pills, motherfucker. <laughs> what if that's how they was getting it over here? A bunch of uncircumcised motherfuckers in Mexico. Just uh, <laughs> comment, from the, comment from the crowd. Is, the next boss? <laughs> comment from the crowd. His parents are Neanderthals. Of course he's not circumcised. Damn. That's fucked up. But he do got a cro magnon head, though. I would say that. I would say that. All right, I'm done, y'all. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Hamlin. Everyone having fun out there? Hell yeah, keep sending us some comments. Keep your anyway, who's drinking? Who's drinking some beer out there? Oh, you're so bad. <laughs> oh, you're so bad. I can't control my drinking, so I don't. Mm. Oh. Nah, it's cool. My teeth don't call I'm wondering why. Dude, would it be a funny bit if I relapsed? Would that get the energy up? What if I held y'all hostage and was like, yo, give me some more energy or I'll relapse in front of everyone? Huh? <laughs> huh? That's all right. We don't have to do that. Because your next comic coming to the stage is very, very funny. He's going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be out of town for a week, so I'm not going to be here next week. Who gives a shit? Uh, but your next comic is going to be filling in for me in my absence. He's a very funny guy. He's a newer comic. We're taking a chance on him because he's just been hitting the pavement and being so funny and so good. Please give it up for Danny McCabe. <laughs> tonight, Basic City. Yeah. Woo! Come on, yeah, let's go for it. 
Laz, would I be a hurricane? Would there be a hurricane, Danny? I feel like if there's a Hurricane Milton, based off that nerdy shit, there'd be a Hurricane Danny. It's, it's probably a Hurricane Danny. There's probably a Hurricane Danny. It's probably Danny. Daniel or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, um, shit. Who said they were uncircumcised? <laughs> All right, good for you, good for you. I, I, I appreciate it. I thought you were pissed. <laughs> Get him! Hold him down! <laughs> Get him, boys! Woo! Yeah, this I'm, is I'm gonna trap. bite it off. This is a trap, man. Yeah, this basic city. <laughs> Doesn't exist. Quick, get the pizza cutter. You're circumcised. <laughs> right now. Put that bitch in the guillotine. <laughs> get the Thank you, Tyler. Can you Every rich person is getting circumcised. Can you Off with this oh, foreskin. Yeah. Yeah. Off with this foreskin. But hey, I appreciate your pride with not, you know, still having that because it is hoodie season. Am I right? There we go. <laughs> That's a stinking ass hood. <laughs> You wouldn't be able to see Yeah, it's the only hoodie you buy that comes with free cheese. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that was gross. <laughs> Are we still talking about circumcised people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caleb doesn't have foreskin, he has five skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I don't have a forehead, I have a five head. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 Shit. We having a ball. Yeah, uh, you guys been hearing any rumors about me out there? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm a pretty talked about guy. Um, did you guys hear that rumor that apparently I was the guy who stole Woody in Toy Story 2? <laughs> See, I, I would believe that. Who said that? I would believe that. I, you would believe I, it. I, I would tell somebody that rumor. No, 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 no. I, I appreciate it. You know, the detectives talked to me, but it, it wasn't me. Wasn't me. Yeah. Uh, comment from the crowd. He looks like he has a Tinder to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually debated that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I have friends. I know how to make friends. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, I definitely have friends. Wow. I don't have to. Feel, I don't have to prove this to you. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Oh my god. But I do love Pixar movies, though. Uh, watch a lot of TV, watch a lot of movies. You do look like something that come out of the closet to scare a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no, I, um, I, I don't scare children. I just, I just watch TV. That's, um, yeah, that's not, that's not scary, you know. Uh, and, you teach them how to do their homework? What? You look like a nerd, that's all that was. So man, what's your favorite Pixar movie? Yeah, Ratatouille. Ratatouille, actually. And it reminds me of one of my favorite shows. You know, because Ratatouille teaches you everybody can cook, right? There's another great show that's like, ah, oh, we can cook, but we have problems. It's the bear. And I think I have the perfect ending for the bear. We all find out they've been ratatouille right? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good ending. Everything like that, just therapy puppets. For those rats. Ratatouille is a horrible movie. Think about it. A horrible movie. I want you to know that. Ratatouille is a horrible fucking movie. I think it was a propaganda so white people could convince people to let animals touch their food. <laughs> <laughs> that is okay. That is just yeah, a rat. He's right? on right. 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 My dog can lick my ice cream. Look at this rat cook. That was a five-star uh, restaurant in that movie. Just We're all working rat. towards tongue-kissing our dogs. We know that, right, white people? That's the way to chip. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the original name for the movie was called Cross Contamination, but uh, you know, it didn't roll off the tongue as well. Danny, if you could fuck any animal, what animal would you fuck? Oh my god. I, think I, I thought about it, thought about it. Um, human. Yeah. Humans are animals, come on. You are you serious? I would, I would say, gross, oh, gross. You know, you know it's, it's funny you mention that question. Because I thought about something recently um, when I've been high and watching TV. Fucking like, snake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, like think about like, think about how we use the word cute, right? Like we use cute for attraction, or we use cute for like you know animals, right? Like oh that puppy's so cute. Oh you know like but you want to you're not attracted to them, right? <laughs> no, you're not. Hey, uh, coming from the crowd. Speaking of which, coming from the crowd, check this guy's hard drive. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Uh, oh coming from the crowd, Danny looks like a pre made me. <laughs> coming from the crowd, he watches hentai to seem more cultured. <laughs> 
I'm still stuck on the two hands. Uh, 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 ain't no cute animals. Uh, no cute animals I, you, I mean, you don't need to watch hentai to be cultured. Come on. You gotta watch Boys in the Hood. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Dear Mr. White Man. That, that's how you get real culture. See the black mm -hmm. stroke. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Why are you talking to him like you're his HR? What the fuck is that? <laughs> no, no, I agree. He shouldn't have called you that. Because oh, he, he don't know what boys yeah, in the hood right. is. That's what all. That's all. Nah, he thought it was about Trayvon Martin. <laughs> uh, let's table this for now and we'll reconvene later. Let's watch Food uh, yeah, Station. We're, we're going to circle back to that whole thing. Uh, comment from the crowd. Danny got the body of a love seat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he looks Body like a, of the love seat, but sit down. Oh yeah, you're gonna love this seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Danny. Uh, Woo! Yeah, Danny. Oh, uh, She's a freaking young girl of my sexual. <laughs> Danny, do you know who that is? Who that rapper is? No, off the top of my head, no. I'm gonna give you a clue. Gracious. <laughs> <laughs> What's my clue? His first name is where a lot of broke black people live. <laughs> He's not gonna I wanna see where his mind at. <laughs> Compton? Gracious. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> Southside. <laughs> That's even worse. I'm just dead and white and man. Look, what I don't know about culture and race. Cut! <laughs> I'm changing gears here. I, uh, I do know what, uh, what animal I represent, and um, the Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> what a burger forever. <laughs> uh, no, I'm a, I'm a capybara, so I'm always going to uh, I'm a capybara, so I'm always, I'm always going to lose to the Black Panther, all right? And that's 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 true. That's you say true. you a what? I'm a copy bar, like one of those big ass rodents. Oh, I yeah. thought okay. I thought yeah. I remember. I, I, was, I, would, I would have at least gave you koala bear. Oh, thank you. Really? Yeah, I had to give you koala. Oh wait, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. you have hepatitis. Yeah, I was gonna oh, say. You got slow. No, no. <laughs> you be a good slow. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pouch. <laughs> So does that other guy. <laughs> uh, comment from the crowd. Comment from the crowd. He looks like he played the trombone in high school. Wrong. Uh, he looks like he asked girls to braid his back hair. I do, I do. Just so we can put a little bow tie. Yeah, this on. one. This, this one commenter hates you. He looks like he buys feet pics. That's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> that is disgusting. He's more of a hands guy. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your palms. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Palms, Look at those baby. lines. You got wet feet? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm no longer allowed on any, like, palm reader forums, so. <laughs> you have someone with a fucking hand fetish going to a palm reader? <laughs> Don't let him shake your head! Uh, palm reader's like, uh, oh shit, it says you're gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> when are you coming right now? You're you not my driveway. Beat your meat. Yeah. All right, well, on that note, Let's give it up for our host. Ooh, baby, I like it. Yeah, baby, I like it. What was up Danny McCabe, everyone? Danny McCabe! Yeah, baby, I like it. Woo! All right, guys, we need to get energy up. What can we do? I'm taking recommendations. Yell some shit out. All right. I, I understand. I understand completely. Uh, I'll, I'll do some crowd work. Ma'am right there, what's your name? Skyler? Hi, Skyler. How are you? How, how do you think the show's going? Couldn't be better. Could be better? What do you, what do you think we can do to be better? I said couldn't. I don't couldn't know be I better? Do. Oh, shit. I'm not here because I'm funny. So. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't get complimented much, so. What was that? You don't get complimented much. I get complimented all the time. <laughs> all the time. Like your next comic coming to the stage, every time I see him, he gives me a compliment. He says, Monty, you so sassy, and I love it. Uh, <laughs> he's a very funny guy. You're going to love him. Please give it up for J-Ron. like that's not J-Ron, this is D-Lo. D-Lo B, everyone. <laughs> hey, white people. 
I'll show the list. It says J-Ron. Uh, J-Ron <laughs> J -Ron was supposed to be here tonight, but he went super black and they come. So I said, you know what? I'll take your place. Uh, at least you were J-Ron time. I like that. Hey, y'all give it up for your host, Monty Giles and Tyler Boyd. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. <laughs> All right now. That's the energy I like to hear. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Who's smoking weed out here, okay? Woo! No one? Okay, who's drinking beer? Okay. Who's doing hard fucking drugs? We're gonna figure out what the crowd is. All right, what you, what you like? Cocaine? <laughs> I heard a woo back there. That's good enough. I think they're all on Special K. Special A and Special K is different things. Uh -huh. It's cereal. Yeah. Who's on cereal right now? <laughs> Them goddamn lucky charms cutting our community right now. Yeah, those fruity loops. Hey, 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 we can't say that anymore. Sexy. <laughs> Homophobic. So, so, I'm trying to watch Game of Thrones. Has anybody watched Game of Thrones? Any Game of Thrones fans here? Oh, yes. Well, if you haven't seen it, it's a bunch of weird shit going on. Hey, listen, it's too much incest for me. I just don't like it. Uh, I don't know what your particular brand of finance is, but my is that sisters and brothers touching on each other. I don't like that. That is weird. Uh, yeah, no, that's definitely weird. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> God damn, that was odd. Uh, at this point, and I'm, I'm about I'm about a couple of seasons in. At this point, I think it's too inbred. I don't think the dragons are real. This is thing with everybody's imagination. Yeah, no, dragons aren't real. <laughs> You're right, Daddy. Daddy, dragons aren't real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fiction. It's fiction. <laughs> Do you think it's a documentary, uh, Daddy? I thought it was historical fiction, like, first two times I watched Danny, it. Danny, you don't look real when I look at you right now. Why did you look... <laughs> you look CGI-imposed. <laughs> I got some, like, Uncanny Valley type of thing. Yes, you thing. have Uncanny yeah. Valley. Yeah, you do look like a skinwalker. I can see that. But if you're an alien, you would tell us, right? I would tell you. I, I'm terrible at secrets, so I would tell you. We don't believe I'm not an alien. <laughs> Danny, do you want to fuck your sister? That's oh. all. Next question. Do you have a sister? Yes. That's... You wouldn't do things like that. That was a joke. Of course, yeah, you know, of course. Incest is wrong. The, yeah. We're not that far south. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to Cuz who came up here looking hella awkward. Uh, I forgot what his name was. Man, you're doing good, man. Keep going. Jokes uh, is coming one day. It's a great thing? insult to maybe somebody. No, I, I, I'm, I'm giving encouragement because, you know, this is very hard to do. A lot of people can't do this, you know? You know who wouldn't be good at this? Shaft. <laughs> That's the inside joke between me and Punk. Y'all don't understand that. Uh, uh, I fuck around and got fucked up. Y'all know paramedics is uh, charging a thousand dollars to pick you up? Incredible. I refuse to pay for it. Next time I get hurt, I'm setting my kitchen on fire. The fried men get there faster, and it's cheaper, you know? They don't like the little uh, crowd work. I don't know what I'm doing right now. So I, what, hmm. Should I try something else? What, what do you think is a good, what's in my repertoire? What's a good joke? Mm, maybe if you did like you did back in Detroit, brought Eminem on stage, then that would help. <laughs> Listen, you miserable fuck. I'm not that guy from Eddie Mile. It's not me. Maybe some B-Rabbit would really, you know what I'm saying? You guys are terrible. I don't mind the way I'm treated here. Uh, what are you wearing? Are you wearing Hot Topic pants? What the fuck are those? I'm fresh from work. I work at a restaurant. These oh are my pants. God. These you are look like Fall Out Boys in the Hood. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Fall Out Boys in the Hood is funny as fuck. <laughs> We're going down, down to the butt. I don't know any Fall Out songs, so I don't know what he means. Uh, yeah, I have on chef pants because I work in a restaurant. Anybody here has ever worked in a restaurant? Woo! Woo! Yeah. Oh, that is emotional scarring right there. Are you okay? <laughs> she cried for help, please. Um, yeah, I think that's the alien back there. You got it? Uh, I work night shift, man, but uh, for those of you who don't or uh, have never worked in a restaurant, there's an ongoing war between day shift and night shift. Uh, day shift gets to parade around and do whatever the fuck they want to do, and night shift hates them. That's why. Uh, I, I have to deal with unruly servers all day long. Like, why are you so mad right now? Like, call them unruly. That's rude as shit. Fuck them bitches. That's how you that right now. I'm trying to be nice. <sighs> I have kids. Anybody else got kids? I got kids. 
Oh, okay. All right. Everybody's just shooting and running. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no nut November, right around the corner. I got kids. The oldest one is uh, in the military, and I'm I'm kind of scared for him every day. Not, not because like he is in like doing like graphic shit. It's because I don't like the way he talked to the other niggas in his bunk. It's the gayest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. You hear me? Uh, you should you shouldn't be referring to your bunkie as boo boo. That's not. I don't. Why are you calling that man? What has y'all seen in y'all life that made y'all this close? Uh, I still can't get over those pants, bro. You look like you should be holding a guitar. Those pants are awful. I did just. Mm -hmm. Monty, I'm gonna make sure I'm suited and booted next time. I'm coming in a fucking suit next time. Like, <laughs> please, please do, brother. Suit, double-breasted coat. I don't know what that means, but they gotta have a coat double-breast. Is it some things a single-breast coat? I don't know what that means. Those pants look like they're attached to the boot. <laughs> <laughs> that dog didn't like that joke. In conclusion, um, I feel like that monkey shit song. You embarrassed to look. Only reason I'm mad is because I know how hurtful that is for you to say that to me, but they don't even know who's sick now. They don't. Actually. They don't give a fuck who Pepsi is. This is just for me and you. Yeah. We only get vitamin C. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate to say that to you. <laughs> we drink wine. All right, I'll leave y'all with this. I've been pondering on this for the last couple of days. Why is there a P in the letter C? Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Comment from the crowd. Uh, I like the pants. Comment from the crowd. The pants are good. Comment from the crowd. Stop talking about his pants. Comment from the crowd. This man got style. Leave him alone. <laughs> You're right. The pants are cool. Hell yeah. Have you invited your mom tonight? <laughs> Those pants totally got suspenders under that hoodie, though. Thank you. My name is D-Lo B. <laughs> I used to cop a lot when I'm a cop to drop. Keep it going for D-Lo B and his pants, everyone. Yeah. I've never been more wrong about a pair of pants. That's crazy. Chicks dig the long ball. That's no, they say were... something about Monty's pants. Yeah, say something about my pants. Monty, your pants look like they got suspenders at the top. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. I'd like suspenders. Alright, guys. Oh, whoa! I love you. I love you. But let this be the last time you wear those shoes. I need to get new shoes. Good the fuck lord. I You've know. never been wider, Monty. I know. What? Are those Air Force Ones? No, they're not Air Force Ones. No, they're Air Force... Nuns? No, no, they just, they just shoes. It's okay. It's alright, you don't have to get me back from the pants thing. That bit didn't go well either. No, I <laughs> it's alright, we're all dressed like trash. Uh, your next time I come to the stage is not dressed like trash, though. Oh, yeah, no, she's not. She's dressed like a, like a funky fresh kid. Boom. She's, boom. She's so funny. She runs the Jack Brown Showcase every month. Not this month, but yeah, usually every month. She's also the editor-in-chief of the Comedy Underground magazine. She's co-host of the show before, and she's one of my best friends. Please give it up for Emily Erblin! Yeah! Emily Erblin! Now I see what you mean, Monty. They just emerge from the darkness. Well, howdy, Basic City. How we feeling this evening? Good. Time in our show. Woo! How'd you hear about the show? Monty. Yep. From Monty. Good marketing, Monty. Yeah, I'm selling it. Nice. Uh, comment from the crowd. Monty looks like he'd do a line of his own dandruff. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, you guys, I don't understand sex trafficking. I don't understand what's so bad about sex trafficking. If it's bumper to bumper, what else am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> you said you would fuck P. Diddy? I would not fuck P. Diddy. I like it dry. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> really dry. Um, people made a lot of jokes about P. Diddy in the last few weeks, and no one was asking the real questions. No one was asking the real questions. How did they harvest all those babies? It's a lot of oil. It takes takes a lot of babies to refine down into that much oil. <laughs> you guys know about the politics of oil. We all know about the politics of, um, of That's oil. That's why we went to Afghanistan for baby oil. <laughs> uh, you guys, I love Richmond, Virginia. Give it up for our beautiful city. Give it up for our beautiful city. Uh, anyone go to the Folk Fest the other weekend? 
<laughs> no, you guys hate music and culture. I get it. I think they hate comedy I too. <laughs> yeah. um, I went to the I went to the folk fest on a recommendation from a friend. On a recommendation from a friend, uh, and I guess I didn't realize until I got there that friend may have a speech impediment. I went to the folk fest on a recommendation of a friend with a speech impediment. I brought way too much lube. I didn't need it. I didn't need a single condom. The fuck fest. Tyler, spell impediment. Uh, impediment. Hold on. I am watch movies naked. That's what that means. Uh, but he was like, Emily, he really likes horror movies. He's like, Emily, I really want you to see the thing. And I was like, I ain't no prude. I saw the thing on our first date, remember? He went, no, Emily, I want you to see the thing. The special effects are amazing. And I said, it took me 15 minutes to get the special effects out of my hair. <laughs> the grundle laugh is my best one. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, he said, Emily, you don't understand. The thing is very important to me. It gets rave reviews from critics. And I said, shut the fuck up about your bitch ex. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Um, I don't. I never know how to end this joke. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's, some, so the thing. it's something about how it's both like a a gore and also like a psychological torture film. Like circumcision. It's not you. It's me. It's not you. It's always me. That's right. Um, do you like cheeseburgers? <laughs> they went. Yeah. They went. She, she said. That's un-American. Um, okay, we'll move on. Move on. <laughs> it's your time to shine. Um, this crowd is you like ever had a cheeseburger? Like, stalk sure. someone? Sure. sure. Good experience? Yeah. Hey, would you put cheeseburger in your top 100 foods? Yeah. Aren't there more than one? Yeah. Yes. Uh, give it up for that. Top 100 foods. All right, now, yeah. Thank you. Okay, if you're at the kind of cheeseburger restaurant where they ask you about the temperature of the cheeseburger, what do you say to them? If they say, how do you want it cooked? Medium rare. Medium rare. Give it up for medium rare, everybody. That's sophistication, am I right? Um, He's a meat stretcher. He'll stretch your meat. <laughs> Hallelujah. They like their hamburger one of a kind. They like it rare. Uh, I work at a cheeseburger restaurant. I sell cheeseburgers for a living. Oh, welcome. Okay. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Cheeseburgers pay my bills. Um, some people like it just like you, one of a kind. They like their cheeseburgers rare. Some people like their cheeseburgers, um, burnt. That's right. A plus, well done. Pleasure to have in class kind of cheeseburgers, right? And some people are like, I want it somewhere right in the middle, which makes it confusing when I go back to the kitchen to fetch the hamburgers and cheeseburgers from the greasy line cook, right? Because he's like, okay, that hamburger, that's like no other. It's rare. He's like, that cheeseburger, bitch, that cheeseburger. It's a job well done. It's burnt. It's kind of burnt. He's like, that cheeseburger right in the middle, that cheeseburger is the medium. And a cold breeze blows into the kitchen. And I feel a chill down my spine. And I look the line cook in the eye and I say, be so fucking for real with me right now. That cheeseburger's a medium, that cheeseburger's a medium, you're telling me that cheeseburger's a medium, then you must be saying that that cheeseburger can speak with the dead? <laughs> Are you
are you telling me this cheeseburger can speak with my grandfather? Because I think that's worth more than $11.99. <laughs> that's right. That's right, everybody. Um, I think you look a little bit like Ice Spice, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> the laughter is the, the, the clapter is the funnest part. Uh, we only have like four comics left. Uh, correct. We have four comics left. Are you ready for your final four comics, everyone? <laughs> this has been such a fun time. This is a lively audience. It's like we have a lightning in a bottle right now. Just, it's a live one tonight. I wish I could take a picture of this room and throw darts at it when I get home. Ma'am, how are you doing tonight? I didn't even notice you over there. What? Oh. No, they would. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's the stig. I have astigmatism. Tyler's both astigmatism. He's nagging you. No, don't worry about it. What's your name? Joe. Joe? Wait, are you on the list? Yes. Oh. Oh, you're a comic. Okay. Your next comic coming to the stage. He's been doing uh, comedy in Richmond for a while now, and he's. I, every time I see him, I'm like, yo, you have to do the show. And he's like, I don't know, man. But we finally got him tonight. Please give it up for Chuck Nephew! Should have played some Mac Miller for me. Uh, shout out to Basin City, man. Shout out to y'all. Make some noise. Shout out to Monty and Tyler, man. Make some noise for them. Okay, I guess not. Okay. Now, Monty, he did try to get me on the show for about 19 weeks. I've been denying it because I be nervous as hell. I be so nervous like a man in an abortion clinic. You ever met a man in a abortion clinic? He be sweating bullets, I'm telling you, man. I used to buy my weed in an abortion clinic. <laughs> <laughs> sweating bullets, I'm telling you, man. Real he used talk. to hide it in the waste bin. I used to try to uh, hype, hype, hype my lady up, like, you got it, boo. You got it. During Come on, the, man. During the abortion? Yeah, uh, like, uh, like, you got it. You the best god mama ever. You got it. She be like, oh, boo, you the best father. Yeah, I know, I know. I paid that $400. Uh, this is the music playing in the abortion <laughs> clinic. Shake that thing, bitch. Try to try to shake that thing, bitch. I know better. Ooh, so Paul. Comment from the crowd. Monty unironically listens to Sexy Red. <laughs> Dude, I love Monty's Sexy Red. Monty's looking for the host. No, Sexy Red, I know. For so, for so. I like to see who we got in the crowd tonight. Uh, shout out to all the men who eat pussy with their ass up in the air. Okay, nobody, huh? That's, you, that's how you get leverage, you know? That's how you get leverage. I scream at pussy. I just get right there. Ah! Now, Monty, be, like I said, he been trying to get me up here for a minute, man. He gave me the Martin Luther King dream speech. He said, I had a dream that Chuck Nephew would be at Mexico City talking about his wife and her one titty. Your wife got one titty? <laughs> No, nah, it's a joke I got. Uh, oh, no, ah, yes, the one ten wife joke. Oh, yeah. A Chuck nephew joke. Uh, that's actually a Mark Lawrence bit. <laughs> you ever been so drunk you had to sleep on the toilet butt but ass naked? Yeah, that's me out there two uh, tequila shots. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a drinking problem. <laughs> I might do, man. I just had two shots of Tito's and a shot of... I don't mean, well, a glass of wine, man. I feel amazing right now. You shot now. a Hawaiian person? I feel amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel amazing. Wait a second. <laughs> they don't sell <laughs> fucking liquor here? <laughs> well, I had a shot of wine. <laughs> you had a shot of wine. A shot of wine. Ladies, y'all need to stop making up these rules. There's a new rule they got called 666 rule. Have y'all ever heard of it? Nobody, okay, good. 
The 6'6 six, six rule is ladies want a man that's six feet tall with a six pack and got a six figure job. Uh, I thought I'm, it was like he painted himself all red and like had a pitchfork and a ponytail and shit. Nah, nah, nah man, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it, man, I'm gonna explain. Like I said, six feet tall, six pack, and a six figure job. I'm a, I'm sorry to disappoint you, ladies, but that man already got a man. I'm sorry. I guess ain't nobody guess that. Yeah, okay. Chuck, Next Chuck, joke. Chuck Nephew has the energy of a cereal mascot. <laughs> Dog like that. Oh, man. Comment from the crowd. Chuck's forehead is shinier than his boots. Woo! Yeah, that's that shave butter, baby. Uh, comment. That shave butter. <laughs> that shave butter get black people ready every time. Comment from the crowd. Hey. His beard looks like he tried to do the Joker smile with pubes. <laughs> I'm still, trying to, oh. I'm still trying to grow my beard. I'm gonna be honest, like, that's why I ain't cut my hair yet. My wife mad at me because I ain't cut my hair yet. I ain't trying to cut my hair because I, I turned into a bad bitch. I'm gonna be honest. You ever <laughs> notice, you ever notice anybody, any guy that got a fresh haircut laugh at anything? He <laughs> be like, ha, <laughs> hell yeah, yeah. Stop rubbing on himself for no reason. <laughs> Sorry, wrong button. Fuck it. Fuck that joke, Dan. <laughs> you guys are wearing the same outfit in different fonts. <laughs> oh man, Monty. <laughs> Monty's italics. Man, hey, this is the second time I wear the same outfit with a white person, too, man. Ain't hey, Emily. Last night. <laughs> it wasn't bad enough already. <laughs> Child, I don't even get recognized by my own people. Man, I'll be honest, man. <laughs> Have you ever been so broke you had to pull up to the gas station and put the same amount of gas in your car as the pump number? <coughs> yeah, let me get $2 on pump too. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I guess, um, I guess white people just got money, okay. <laughs> I guess y'all just rich, huh? <laughs> Holy shit, did you just think of a riddle? What was that? Comment from the crowd, Tyrone Bigham's got sober. Racist. Oh man. What the hell is that crap? What was that crap? So y'all watch Dave Chappelle then? Okay, so how the fuck y'all ain't laughing at my joke then? Yeah, they're turf whites. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay with me. Lady, I mean, fellas, um. <laughs> Speaking of Dave Chappelle, <laughs> Fellas, if y'all want to know how your lady feel about your penis, just tell her to go to the store and buy some cucumbers. <laughs> if she comes back with the mini cucumbers, oh my god. Yo, why do you laugh? Oh, holy shit. You laugh like a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, or no, who was old boy in Spy Kids 2 uh, who had the laugh? You know what I'm talking about? McGiggles? <laughs> the Giggler? <laughs> the Giggler? No. He, he was the white boy. Uh, you laugh like a white man. That's what I laugh like a white man. Yeah, you laugh like you just kicked out. I think that's why I get the job every time then. And my name, my real name is Lamar. So that's like a white person name, I he guess. That's like he's being tickled. <laughs> <laughs> he's always getting tickled. <laughs> Are you ticklish? I am ticklish. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I am ticklish. Let me get my hands I, on I, you, brother. I'll make you squeal like a pig. I hate men. Where, you like the pits? Where you like it the most? Under the pits? Your belly? Toes? Nah, the toes, The man. toes? <laughs> the feet? Oh, the feet? Man, I, my, Hell, dude, I'm gonna take your piggies to the market, brother. <laughs> I hate being tickled while I'm having sex. I'm gonna make you wee 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 <laughs> all the way home. You ever looked at a crackhead and said, yeah, that's about the size I need to be? Comment from the crowd, <laughs> Chuckles and Nephew. Yeah. <laughs> I guess people ain't rocking with me tonight. This is my first night. Shout out to all the men who back Connors but still fuck wrong. <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. Y'all have a safe sex out there? Nope. Ooh, okay. Sheesh. I guess I'm the only one having a safe sex, man. Yeah, I'm still fucking with the door locked. I'm still closing the curtains. Fucking with my socks on. That's my definition of safe sex. <laughs> <laughs> Make it hot! Okay, man. Okay. Uh, you, you should have just gone, right? I'll fight you, I'll fight you, I'll fight you. Now I'm gonna get up out of here after this. White folks, white folks. Uh, 
I think the lady gone. Damn, why she gone, man? Cause this joke is so real. <laughs> White folks, why the hell y'all need to start treating your, your kids better than your pets? I'm tired of seeing little Ryan on the leash and the dog in the stroller. You mean the pets better than the kids? Yeah, damn. I'm drunk. <laughs> it's all right. Fuck. It's all right, brother. That's the two shots of Tito's and a shot of wine. <laughs> what, nephew? That's Silver? What's up, Silver, man? I got your money, man. Stop, hey, hey. Stop threatening me, Silver. I got your money. Right here. I got it right here, okay? I got you. You owe Silver $2? <laughs> uh, I own $10, but. I'm, I would love Silver getting I'm, pissed, dude. That was I'm, I'll break they, your fucking they, leg. They keep DMing me, man. They keep hitting me in my DM and shit, man. Like, hey, I need my money now. I got you, Sil. I ain't, I ain't forget about you. <laughs> White people, be honest with me. Be honest with me. When y'all take a shower, do y'all really wash our legs? Y'all yeah. do? Okay. <laughs> I, had, I had sex with a white girl a couple years back. I'm just trying to make sure my wife won't come through. But yeah, I had sex with a white girl decades ago. She's a uh, young girl, about six years <laughs> the type of girl, you know, the, 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 well, the type of nigga I am, you feel me? I like to lick the eggs while it's on my shoulder and shit. That shit tasted just like the James River. Like, <laughs> I said, God damn, baby, did you take a shower tonight? Shit. And I'm Chuck Nephew, man. I'm gonna get up out of here, man. <laughs> Chuck Nephew should come back. <laughs> no, that was a yes. That was, That's a no. Oh, but what are you? What are you? A fucking girl? You're like, no, you don't mean that. Stop <laughs> it. Please, please. God damn it. Chuck Nephew, say something. Never mind. Follow right. me at Chuck Nephew on Instagram only. Follow him at Chuck That's Nephew. That's C H U K K. Follow his Instagram where he only sucks on legs. <laughs> He's a leg sucker. <laughs> he does it like fast food reviewers. Yeah, you can't even see the rest of the body. You just see knee to shin and his tongue. All right, we have three more comics left. Your next comic coming to the stage. Uh, oh, okay. She's been sitting up front, I think. Uh, it might be her. I don't know. Joe Lule, are you here? Hell yeah, give it up for Joe Lule. confident that I can match this crowd's energy, so you're in for a treat. Um, I'm going to give you Dollar Store Aubrey Plaza. I hope that's okay. Hey. My name's Joe. I think Chuck has a whimsical giggle. Um, I didn't appreciate all that slander. That's a beautiful laugh. I appreciate that. I just need to toast you. I mean, you like my smile, too, then. I mean, sure. Let's not take it too far. But. <laughs> Um, I'm visiting. I'm from North Carolina, so I'm a little... Yeah, thank you. Thank North you so Carolina much. girls love me. Stop playing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, it's been a beautiful trip, honestly. I stopped at Buck Row Beach on the way up. Um, I was like the only person on the beach for miles, as far as I could see. And then I saw a couple in the distance with their dog approaching me. You know, So I look down and I start preparing to give like an awkward little hello. And I look up and their dog is just squatting right in front of me, just taking what I think is the biggest shit ever. Um, so that was a beautiful start to this trip. <laughs> um, and now I'm eating shit at this mic, so it's beautiful. I wouldn't have it any other way. Were you, were you going to the beach to write in your journal? I actually did write in my journal. It's called it. Do you know, I actually wrote my journal. Did you talk about your boss? No. Uh, did you talk about your boyfriend, girlfriend? Non-binary partner. Well, woke king. Um, <laughs> um, if only you knew, sister. Uh, sibling? <laughs> sibling. Um, it's really nice to be here. Uh, it's a lot of pressure also, because I'm representing for all the MILFs. Can we hear it for the MILFs? Woo! Wrong. Oh, that was just me. That was Trump, not me. So that's 40 and up, right? No. No. 
I think it's just moms. <laughs> Wait, can, six, can like people on 16 and pregnant be mills? Yeah. I think, think mills yeah. like 40 yeah. and out though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, oh, I hate when I hate when I pull oh, up so a 20-year-old. So you're yes. telling me milf just means as long as they got kids. Mom might like to fuck. Yeah, as long as they're. Damn, you know. I know, I know a 16-year-old that got kids right now. Oh my she's god. Like, so she's a milf. She's a milf. <laughs> she's a milf. Yeah, usually I don't do this, but uh, <laughs> a middle schooler I'd like to fuck. <laughs> The way that joke goes is I go, sorry, I do not have kids. Ooh, that means millennial would like to fuck. And then I go, I did a thing. It works sometimes in North Carolina. Um, <laughs> what part of North Carolina are you from? Durham. Oh, you're from Durham? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, <coughs> I thought we were going to be friends for a minute. But um, I like most millennials, I have a roommate there in Durham. Um, my roommate is a feline. She's a cat. Obviously. Um, I thought it was a spider that could spell words on a wall. I fucking wish. If you sponsor me, I think we can make that happen. Um, I used to have a, a family. Uh, my cat. <laughs> we used to have a family, but I fucked that up. <laughs> yeah, I fucked around and got divorced last year. Um, happy with my family. Thank you. Thank you. It was lit because I had someone else to help me scoop the litter box, and now it's just me, um, which really sucks. Did you just describe a divorce as lit? <laughs> what are you? A, are you a substitute teacher? What the fuck was that? <laughs> History is lit. Um, <laughs> alimony is what's happening. Family practice. Anyway. Um, Comment from the crowd. She listens to the Smiths way too much. Oh my god, I did. I really did. I was know? looking for a mic and I found a mic. And heaven knows. I'm still a Zoe Deschanel impersonator now. Um, scooping litter. Yeah, scooping litter is shitty. I find myself most nights like kneeling on the ground, digging like the children from Holes. You guys remember that movie? <laughs> I'm tired of this grandpa. That's too damn bad. That's really cute. I did it as a cat. That was really cute. Comment from the crowd, she won't date you if you're a Gemini. I won't, that's fucked up. <laughs> that is These are all just so accurate. These are all so I'm just reading this off of your co-star. <laughs> but you know what co-star is, so that's weird. Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, you know I'm a Gemini. Are you, really? Yeah. Oh, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Time is fake, that my, isn't, that's my not right. birthday, June 2nd. Oh. Gemini. Right. Go black man, go black man, go black man. Wait, Drake is a Gemini, right? Not, not specifically for you, that's racist. Drake I is a Gemini. I remember he was conflicted. <laughs> um, <laughs> divorce. My ex was a wonderful person. I will just get that out of the way. We met when we were kids, like 14. Um, we stayed together for Wait, 15 what? years. Wait, Yeah, 15 years, okay? <laughs> no, usually I don't do this. But, uh, <laughs> wait, 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 we were both 14. Oh, uh, okay. It's important, I should clarify. We stayed together for long enough to hate like everything about each other. That's usually how that works. Um, he hated the sound of me rubbing my eyes next to him in bed. He said, <laughs> too squishy. <laughs> Coward. Um, I'm not perfect. I used to get annoyed with him too. Like I couldn't stand his mouth sounds. You guys ever experienced this? Like, you know, chewing, slurping noodles, mm. sharing thoughts and opinions. Um, Do you so like him so eating that pussy, huh? Ew. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chuck Nephew, put your red rocket away. Chuck <laughs> Nephew. I'm just saying, I wow. like the much on the pussy. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, Chuck. What are you, a zombie? What the fuck? I like to eat the pussy's brain. Shout out to Chuck's wife. Um. <laughs> Shout out to my baby. Uh, are you talking about uh, Chuck, uh, Chuck Niece? Chuck Niece. <laughs> Chuck Auntie. Uh, that's, what, that's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> that was racist. Oh, yeah, you, you totally look like you're called Aunt Joe. Aunt Joe? That, I should, I hope to be an Aunt Joe someday. Do you um, it makes sense, though, that the relationship ended. Like, it was doomed from the beginning. My ex was a big, like, ass guy, right? Like, a booty enthusiast. I don't know if you caught a glimpse when I was walking up. That's not the department that I'm working with. Um, so it makes sense. You know, I feel like I have what the kids call like an Apple AirPod type shape. Damn. And maybe, maybe that's being generous. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, relationships and like getting over relationships can be quite hard. Uh, I've noticed also six minutes left. Or is it counting up to something? It's counting. 
I was like, Jesus Christ, I gotta get out of here. Um, relationships are hard. Relationships are uniquely hard when you have attachment issues because you got beat by your dad or whatever. Um, I have picked up some tips to share with y'all about making the process easier, okay? If you're ever like having a hard night, you haven't been validated in a long time, you know, you don't feel like anyone wants you, no one's interested in you, you don't have to resort to old methods, okay? You don't have to re-download Hinge, you don't have to post a song to Spotify, like you're a Spotify song to Instagram stories, you don't have to do that. You can just log on to your local car dealership's website, click interested on a couple of used chariots and just sit back and wait, okay? <laughs> They are interested in you and your interest in them, and it scratches the itch, okay? Leaf Toyota wants me so bad right now, bro. You wouldn't, even, you wouldn't believe it. Okay, that's all I can tolerate tonight. Thank you so much. This was really fun. Give it up for Joe Lula, everyone. Joe Lula, the Grand Prix! Because it's the fifth chair. I'm so sorry, guys, to do the concept of the show. One more time for Joe Lula, everyone. Big Durham representing tonight. Who do who do y'all think did better? Do you think she did better or the dude from um, Portland? Her. Her? If you think she did better, make some noise. <laughs> if you think if you think the other guy did better, make some noise. Cool. Hey, hell yeah, you have that. You, you, guys, you guys crucified that man. You crucified that man. That was something to see. He looks like he was as big as the cross that Jesus got crucified on. Perhaps. Uh, all right, we have two comics left. Your next comic coming on the stage. She also guest hosted this show a couple weeks ago. She's very funny. Uh, you're going to love her. Please give it up for Grace Moyer! You guys keeping up with this hurricane stuff? Yeah. 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 Um, I saw like uh, the video where she's like, if you don't evacuate, you will die. And that's exactly how I have felt this entire show. <laughs> yeah, I'm like watching everyone eat shit and I'm like, I'm like, if you go up there, you will die. I realized I um, forgot my lipstick at home and I went to my car to search for it. I was like, I could just evacuate. I could just leave. <laughs> and this is exactly what I expected to happen. Um, anyways, uh, recently I was trying to make a gynecologist appointment and all of the options were virtual. I was like, what does that mean? Am I just supposed to describe it to them? I'm like, no doctor, it doesn't burn. I said, it's fire. <laughs> or like, um, you know, am I expected to show whole on camera? She's a freaking young girl of my sexual. But I'm paying them? Something smelling a little fishy. I don't understand you guys. <laughs> I would respect you so much if you start screaming as loud as you could right now. That's what I want to do. That's my favorite thing. Can everyone in the room just scream really loud on three? I should have did this like 30 minutes ago. I feel like the crowd's like got the like you know what you did energy right now. They have a they have a case. What did I do? They have a case of the Mondays. Yeah, I'm like I don't I don't get it. You you wanted to come here. You're paying not, attention. Are we not doing the scream thing? Because I took. I really I really, I really, I really want scream. to scream. Can we all really scream? Want scream? One, two, three. <laughs> nice. Did that that felt really that, good. We should have did that like an hour ago. That would have helped. Yeah. Too late. We're here. The show's gonna keep going like this. Yeah. Um. That's actually a life hack for any ladies out there. Um, if a man is talking to you and you want him to leave you alone, you can just scream. <laughs> they don't like it. Wrong. <laughs> you like when women scream? Like in the street, if you were like, hi, nice to meet you, and I was like, ah! <laughs> no? 
Monty, answer. You're the one that hit the I, I, I mean, When I hit the soundboard, it's not an extension of my thoughts. It's just... Yeah, but, you know, you could try to run with it. Uh, uh, what, that I hate, that I harass women? Yeah, I'm sure. I was having fun with that one. I mean, it worked. It paralyzed them. Good job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't like it. Joe, you look like Gra or Grace. You look like Joe's bully. <laughs> I would never... I would let you. <laughs> <laughs> She's a freaking young girl of my six It's true. Uh, I like to think of myself as gay by choice. You know, like when a Republican says that sexuality is a choice, so you know that they're bi and just choosing straight. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I am ashamed, okay? It's like, it's like I still have straight thoughts. I just don't act on them. Shame. <laughs> That's a sin. <laughs> That's gross. Um, but also, like all Republicans who say that, um, I'm also lying. <laughs> Shame. Yeah, it is. Um, is that Jordan Peterson? <laughs> you think that's Jordan Peterson? No, but thank you for letting me know that you know who that is. Fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people say men are wait, dogs. Wait, can I do a can I do a Jordan? Yeah. Can you do a Jordan Peterson? You're bloody well better. Clean he's not British. He's not. He's just no, not he's, British. He sounds like Kermit. He's Canadian. Joe, can you do a Jordan Peterson impression? That would have been yours. Grace, can you do a Jordan Peterson impression? I don't know who that is. Ah, uh, dude, he hates people like you. <laughs> Women? Yes, yes, exactly. A lot of people do. Um, what other men in history would hate you? Um, <laughs> I think most of them. Did you guys- Anyone in like Colonial Williams? No, I was gonna say, <laughs> did you know that like when the Salem witch trials happened that like no one actually thought that they were witches? Of course not. They it, thought you were yappy. Yeah, it was just an excuse to like kill women if they were annoying. We, it got mistranslated over time. Originally, it was the Salem bitch trials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like when people are like, I was born in the wrong generation. I'm like, I was born in the right generation. I'm so glad they can't kill me for being annoying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Grace, so Grace, old. literally like so quick. <laughs> literally so quick. Men fucking hate me, dude. Uh, that's my favorite thing about myself. I'm just staying white. Woman. Yeah. I also feel like I was born in the right time because do you ever like um, plug in your vibrator right next to your weed pen? Yeah. And you're like, I love modern technology. <laughs> these two little magic things that can just like make me feel awesome whenever. <laughs> um, I hate I, when I accidentally hit my vibrator. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, crowd. Holy shit, are you on fucking Xanax? What I hate fuck? when I accidentally vape weed out of my pussy. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm gonna leave now. This has been really fun. Thanks, guys. Joe, is this your joke book? <laughs> Whose joke book is it? Uh, like most millennials, I have a roommate, which is fine. <laughs> I'm representing for open. Oh, okay, you did that. You did that. All right. Uh, hi, Joe. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm visiting. Wow, you wrote your name down. Hell yeah. I was the only person for stretches of beach. Yep, what got over that? I think you covered everything. One more time for Joe. Coming from out of town. Sticking to the script. Hell yeah. Can we scream for this guy on three? One, two, three. Ah! And can we scream for your final comic of the night? Are you ready for your final comic of the night, everyone? Yeah! My favorite thing about this final comic of the night is he might not even be here. Let's see. He's a very funny guy. He, look him up on Street Beefs under Baby Tyson. It's so funny. He's been in so many fights before. It's so funny. He beat up, like, he got in a fight with this, like, 500-pound dude. It's an, it's, I swear to God, if, he, if he's not here, we'll just watch it. Like, I will pull out the projector, we'll pull it up. It's, 
Oh, he's right there. Coincidence. Holy Thank you. shit. It's very bright up here. Uh, <laughs> please give it up for your, your last comic of the night. He's a very good friend of the show and a very funny guy. Please give it up for Scotty Moore. Down in Muscle Beach, pumping iron and bone. Pumping on the knees, up on stay in the phone. Basic City! What's up, y'all? How you doing? Good. Yeah? yeah? He scared y'all when he told y'all I fought a 500 pound dude? He was telling the truth. But the crazy thing is... Y'all kissed. I was a 500 pound dude <laughs> at the time of the fight. So I got my ass whooped, just to let y'all know. So that's what he's talking about on Street Beast. I loved that episode of the Thousand Pound Sisters. <laughs> you look like Kimbo slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and that motherfucker ate dead ass. That nigga ate, man. We got a lot of shit going on in the media. Cardi B and Offset. Have y'all been following that shit? Well, I heard earlier in the show she's having sex while pregnant. <laughs> that's actually dead ass true. That's it? That's all people are worried about? That's basically right. Right. <laughs> That's all they're worried about. That's wild. And what's crazy is, I mean, Offset is upset about this shit, but like, I'm pretty sure Bless that you. being pregnant doesn't stop by the niggas from hitting that dangly dangly thing in the back of her throat. Oh. Alright, a pregnant woman sucking dick is unsettling, though. <laughs> like, a fucking a pregnant woman, alright, I get it, but if I saw a pregnant woman sucking dick, I'd be like, you already got it. Like, you don't need more. I mean, she was, I mean, she was just... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I agree. It's greedy, but it's like oh, it's gonna like land on top of the kid and make like give him good hair or something. <laughs> that baby's soft spot is about to be offset. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of shit. God, I wish you guys weren't all the parents of school shooting victims. You would have enjoyed that joke. <laughs> Y'all would have enjoyed that joke so much. Hell no. If all of your kids didn't get murdered in cold blood by some nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can know the Pete Diddy shit too. Huh? Yeah, these are all fuck P. Diddy. These are all the victims of the freak off. <laughs> <laughs> they got freaked on. <laughs> I think Cardi B and Offset was at that party. That's how this shit really started. <laughs> but I wonder if Cardi B put on baby oil. That's what the B stands for. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? That's Comment from the crowd. Okay, let's see how this shit gonna go. Looking like a roly poly. <laughs> Come from Big Scotty. You look like Cardi B's baby. After. Uh, comment from the crowd. Tyler keeps his Crocs on while he fucks. <laughs> Damn, they getting into you about that shit. <laughs> they, they got grip. <laughs> uh, comment from the crowd. Grace is the other vampire at the show. It was a callback. Uh, Grace, when was your last Tumblr post? Oh my god, it's actually so embarrassing. I've never had a Tumblr. <laughs> Fuck is a Tumblr? Shame. <laughs> It's when you roll down a hill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I see there's a new trend going on. Do you know what studs are? I'm not talking about earrings, but I'm talking about... <laughs> Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Studs are now getting dick out loud now. Have y'all heard about that? Wait, what did you say? What? Studs. Studs? Are getting dick. Oh. Out loud. Out loud? Yes. What do, what you, do mean? you mean? They're no longer sneak dicking. They're sneak, okay. So they're, they're, they're actually getting like fucked on camera. So oh. straight women who don't want to fuck you are having sex. They're not straight though. But they're okay. They're That's street. The, they're street. See, you trying to fuck me up. See, I'm, I'm trying to explain <laughs> this. <shit. laughs> this haggling shit is not working for y'all guys. This is Joe it. Biden's America. Dude, that uh, shit on your porch is street beef. You know what? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God Wait. Damn. So like, is. Scotty, are you just like describing a porn you saw? So it was a <laughs> He said, yo, it's crazy. Lesbians are fucking men these days. I tell you, a lesbian fucks man. <laughs> it's so crazy. Did you know that you actually don't have to pay for your pizza if you just like fuck the pizza guy? <laughs> Did you hear about this? Hey, be careful when you're getting your laundry. You might get stuck in the dryer. <laughs> Did you know that um, if your parents get divorced, then like maybe your dad will get married to like a super hot girl that'll fuck you every night? Did you hear about this thing? 
Yeah. Or maybe the woman who's pregnant with his babies will get fucked by somebody else. All right, that's grotesque. Uh, imagine a guy who's never seen the real movies, he's only seen the porn parodies. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, what do you mean it's scissor hands, not dick hands? <laughs> Shout out to Mike Angle. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck, did you just close the deal? <laughs> so I like it. I oversold them on the Kia for $5,000. <laughs> I'm one of the W.E.B. Du Bois ones. Oh, man. Anybody been to jail? Oh, God. No. I heard a woo. Somebody said yeah. <laughs> Someone said no. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to pass go. No, I wouldn't. I actually work in a jail. Yeah. Dude, who just booed me? Fuck you. What are you, the glory hole? <laughs> <laughs> you know they in the BDSM in there, but they're in the BDSM. What? Both of them are me? Huh? Yeah. Hmm? What'd you say? What? Boy, you crazy. They're tying each other up in there? <laughs> Something like that. Just huh? in cuffs. Oh, damn. And flex cuffs. What? <laughs> yep, not working. Press the button. Yep, not working. See, now you gotta, see, that's typical black shit. See, look at you. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's a moth. It's flying. Oh my god. It's gonna land. <laughs> What, do you become the narrator of this universe? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the moth. It's everyone flying. to the collective side. Now, now turn it back on and hit the button that you're trying to hit again. Too late. You said you fuck P. Diddy? <clears throat> no one's answered the question. I answered the yeah, question. Yeah, I'm not going to answer the question. Why? You're, Why you're, 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 you're not just going to say no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No comment is the sketchiest answer. <laughs> I can't really comment. I'll play the fifth. <laughs> have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of P. Diddy songs? Huh? Have you ever heard of some, some P. Diddy's P. Diddy songs? Yeah. I need a girl to write, write, write. No. He needs a lawyer to lie, lie, lie. <laughs> I was he needs a lawyer to save his life. It wasn't mine, it wasn't mine. I need a lawyer to save my life. And doesn't it sound like Usher is moaning in that song? First, we were friends, then we came up. Ah. Hey, yo. You were more than my girl. We were like brothers. Ah. All night, we were playing fight undercovers. Ooh. You better go somewhere and beat your meat. I feel like this entire set, you've just been describing porn. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> Not that fast, though. Not that fast. What? Not that fast. I'm coming around. It's only been seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> seven minutes. Wait, wait, what's your average come time? What, <laughs> what do you clock it at? Uh, it takes about three rounds. So what is that round? round? What is what that is the round? What is the round? What the, what differentiates the round? So you, you, watched, you watched my Street Beats video, right? <laughs> yeah. You watch you hear how they start coming down with the time? And you put a timer on? <laughs> yeah. So they say three minutes. So that's when I start really moving, right? You ever seen when I start moving? There's a thirty seconds. I start moving a little bit faster. You know, I come up jerking off. You're not talking about having sex. Did you just say beat off? Come time? No, Scotty thought having sex was with women was fist fighting them. <laughs> with those with the big ass titties. <laughs> you thought they were punching beds. <laughs> yeah, the, the sad part about this that guy likes big boobs. His boobs was like six feet long though. <laughs> His titties were <laughs> like I was high. Anyways. He looked like a big old titties. <laughs> that boy said, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Scotty need more milky. <laughs> <laughs> this fucks your mom <laughs> next. <laughs> You're not doing a good job. <laughs> Cause she's still angry. <laughs> yeah, she's sick of your shit. <laughs> Scotty, stop pissing on the toilet seat. You're 20, uh, 30? This is used to know how to fuck old I am. I'm not your girlfriend. <laughs> you act like it. <laughs> Alright, well. Present yourself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you ticklish? Are you ticklish? I'm very ticklish. Ooh, let's have a tickle off between you and Chuck Nephew. <laughs> Anybody want to tickle me in the audience? Who wants to tickle me? Hey, Come on. Come on. Wait, whoever can tickle Scotty the best gets all these trophies that we forgot to give out. I'm taking them back to work. I'm gonna Maybe that's why the crowd's been so pissed. We weren't giving any of the trophies out. You want to tickle me? You want to tickle me? 
Listen, you don't want to take You want to take one? You, you want to you take one? Oh, shit. Shake a black man's head. Yeah, I don't have your credit. Shit. If you're gonna tickle a black man, you better shake his head. I feel like I'm watching footage from P. Diddy's house. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tickle me, please. I did feel like Who Nick... wants to spank me? <laughs> Look, I did feel like Nick Mills for a second. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> not gonna hold you guys. Thank y'all so much for at least laughing at some of this shit. I know it was a bit bad, but damn, I have fun fucking with y'all. My name is Scotty. You can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, <laughs> at Baby Tyson Street Beefs. I have three fights. You want to watch me fight? Go to YouTube. And go to his OnlyFans, Baby Oil Tyson. <laughs> I'll oh, bite your ear off. My name is Scotty Moore. God bless. <laughs>